Okay, guys, so before you get into the book, there's still a couple of activities I want you to do. Um, and just follow with me as I read through this. So before you begin to read To Kill a Mockingbird, take some time to examine your own experience of the relationship between the individual and society. By starting here, you will be prepared to analyze more deeply the way this tension plays out in the world of Macon, Alabama, during the Great Depression. As a result, you will reach a deeper understanding of the characters and the setting, as well as how conflicts between the two drive the plot forward. Examining the complexity of your own identity also enables you to make personal connections with the story, deepening your engagement with the text. Another crucial opportunity for reflection lies within an examination of the individual and society. If, as philosopher George Santayana has written, art provides us an imaginative rehearsal for life, then we might ask, as we read To Kill a Mockingbird, what facets of our lives this novel can help us reflect on and rehearse? What can we learn about our own lives and our own moral universe from the experiences of Scout, Jem, Atticus, and the other inhabitants of Macom, Alabama? It is not so much that we are looking for specific lessons or morals planted in the text by Harper Lee for us to uncover. Rather, we look to the novel to provide us opportunities for reflection on the dilemmas and choices we face in our own lives. For instance, how can the characters' responses to the dilemmas they face in a society, characterized by sharp divisions around race, class, age, and gender, help us think about our choices in the face of similar dilemmas in our own lives? What models of moral and ethical behavior do the characters offer to us that we might adopt, modify, or reject in our own lives? These are questions that we will explore throughout this guide as you read the novel. But for these questions to have sufficient resonance, it's useful to first engage in an exploration of our own identities and the challenges we face when our own choices and desires come into conflict with the rules and expectations of our society. This section provides a variety of resources to help you reflect on the interplay between the individual and the society. Several readings explore the complexity of identity and will help you consider how each of the following factors influences who we are individual choices and passions, legacies of values or mores inherited from, community, family and other important individuals in our lives, labels our society uses to organize and categorize its members. After exploring the resources in this section, you will be better prepared both to analyze the fictional world of Macon, Alabama, and to engage in crucial reflection on the roles of compassion, empathy, conscience, and justice in, in their lives and our society. Our, our theme is actually introducing identity. Once you begin to read To Kill a Mockingbird, you will engage in a deep analysis of the characters, as well as the factors that influence who the characters are and the choices they make. In a sense, you'll be analyzing the characters' identities. Therefore, to prepare you, it's helpful to start by asking you to reflect on your own identities, as well as the very concept itself. One's identity is a combination of many things. It includes the labels others place on us, as well as ideas we have about who we want to be. Gender, ethnicity, religion, occupation, and physical characteristics all contribute to one's identity. So do ties to a particular neighborhood, school, community, or nation. Our values and beliefs are also part of who we are as individuals, as are the experiences that have shaped our lives. Right, guys, I'd like you to look at the website and go through the activities in order, please.